Thank you for having me, guys. What a what an inspiring program here. Just want to thank Redox and the other vendors um, regarding being part of this. Uh, we couldn't be more happier to offer our uh, solution for free right now and uh, do anything that we can help. So um, my name is Jeff Dunn. I am the founder and CEO of Red of Us Health, uh, 10 year, uh, about a 10 year uh, hospital physician history with an 11 hospital system in Kansas City. And when I was working, um, really the what I observed were those time critical moments where I wish I had a piece of usable technology to be able to uh, ensure that I was making the right decisions on the patient's behalf and being able to document everything in real time. So Redivus's Redivus mission is really to optimize patient safety when time is critical, when you have deteriorating patients. So um, why Redivus and why now? Um, these COVID patients, from what we're hearing with our customers, is that these really sick uh, folks um, with the, the virus are deteriorating quickly. And many of these patients are dying of cardiac and respiratory arrest. One of our customers told us that uh, their cardiac arrests have gone up four times um, in the matter of a 48 hour period. So really um, the opportunity for us to help out right now um, um, is, is one that uh, we really wanna be part of. 30% of all cardiac arrests have a mistake or error made um, from uh, the data that suggests. And I can tell you, being a physician and have worked with a lot of nurses, there is nothing worse than being in a time critical moment and not making the right decision. So the data supports that we're human, we make mistakes and errors, and really that's what we wanna help out at Red of Us Health. And then lastly, uh, not to, not to uh, belabor the, the legal part of this, but these, these patients are very high risk and, very, and, cut and carry a very high settlement uh, as far as lawsuits, 355,000 for a cardiac or respiratory arrest lawsuit. So what do we do? Um, Red of Us is all about bringing uh, mobile technology to the forefront to be able to launch into what we describe as a clinical GPS. So we are very much influenced by Atul Gawande's checklist manifesto. And if you took the idea of um, at, um, automating the guidelines so a nurse and a doctor can use those during a time critical moment, giving a, uh, a caretaker for a patient whose heart stops the ability to get the turn by turn navigation and to document everything in real time is, is really our core competency. Um, this can be launched from a mobile device. It can be launched from a tablet or a workstation on wheels. And what we call this is uh, next generation clinical decision support. So this is not an education um, based platform. This is a tool that you're using um, once uh, that button on the wall is pushed, which is a code blue, which means the patient's heart has stopped. Um, this is really to activate and give the nurse um, who is the one that's holding on to the solution, the ability to give decision prompts, to document everything in real time um, versus writing everything on a piece of paper and going off the memory, et cetera. So the three things that this brings to the table for the sickest of COVID patients are um, the ability to adhere to the guidelines, the American Heart Association guidelines, the real-time documentation aspects, and then we have a dashboard for quality improvement reporting. This is platform agnostic and there's no connection required since we know sometimes we hit a bad spot in the hospital. Um, you can launch this on a device. It does not need a connection either during an emergency. Um, so to get, get, to get into that a little bit deeper, um, this is a mobile app. It's iOS, Android or browser based. It's used by the nurse. And once that code blue buttons uh, pushed, uh, people swarm around that patient's room to try to save their life. Um, this is uh, in place of um, either uh, a napkin, a piece of paper that the nurse is writing, and typically the physician who's in charge of that patient uh, of restarting their heart and getting them back to life uh, is typically going off their memory. And I can tell you, uh, being a physician, I had many patients where I wish I could have gone back and done something differently. So this is that security blanket um, and also ensures that everything is captured during that emergency. 
It's guidance and documentation. It interfaces with the EMR. And what we're supporting right now is once we get to the end of one of these critical events, that this would sync up um, with the EMR in a PDF or rich text format. And then structured data for reporting. What it does um, from a quality improvement perspective for these emergency patients and these really sick patients is increase their opportunity to live from this event. Evidence-based compliance, documentation accuracy, data integrity around this emergency and augments quality improvement. We really see this as an opportunity to support, like I said, from a clinical GPS perspective in the moment for nurses and doctors, the most time critical events. So we are um, giving away for free for the next uh, 90 to 120 uh, days, the cardiac arrest module. Um, since we know a lot of these COVID patients um, are not going to do well. They have estimated that there's going to be two to three X times uh, cardiac arrest and, and respiratory arrest patients from COVID. We also support stroke, sepsis, and some of these other rapidly deteriorating um, clinical conditions. So we really see this as a rapid response tool down the road. Um, a little proof of something that we're going to be publishing uh, here in the very near future is, does this work? And this study that we did with a cardiac arrest researcher and doctors in training suggested that our tool um, during cardiac arrest simulation for doctors in training improved their decisions by 22%, making the right decision, and decreased mistakes and errors by 66%. So lastly, um, a quick overview of the technology. Uh, we use AWS uh, cloud-hosted platform, the HIPAA compliance. Uh, we can rapidly cycle this up. Uh, we can also virtually train with our critical care nurse who's usually uses a, a train the trainer scenario. Uh, obviously use Redox to support that uh, bi-directional data exchange with any EMR. Um, there's broad device support, including Android, iOS, Chrome, and Edge. And we also support single sign-on. So lastly, I just want to say um, thank you for having us. Redibus Health uh, wants to play a big part in being able to support uh, not only the pre uh, and hospitalization, but these time critical moments where we want to save a life from COVID. So thank you guys.